Hello everybody, this is Vincent from Affiliate Theme.io and this video is about the WordPress All Import add-in. So um, basically this is an add-on to uh, a very popular plugin which is called WordPress All Import. So with WordPress All Import you can import CSV files into your WordPress system and especially you can use the information from CSV files for your product management uh, with Affiliate Theme IO. So um, for instance, um, you have an affiliate network um, that does not promote an API or doesn't have an API, uh, but just uh, releases C CSV files. So in that case, you need a system that can import all this data manually to your system. So that's what we have WordPress all import for. Um, the problem is in order to use it together with our um, ASF system, so the advanced custom field system, uh, you need the elite bundle and this is like 200 bucks, um, I think even a year or maybe once, but it's a lot of money. So we created a workaround, um, which is this plugin WordPress all import add-on which lets you use the free version of WordPress All Import and together with our um, add-on you can also import products uh, via CSV files. So let's just do this in a minute. So first of all, let's install the WordPress All Import plugin. So we go to our backend, click Add New and we search for WordPress All Import. and install the first plugin. So after installing it, we have to activate it. So after activating the theme, we can see that a new link appears here on the left side, which is called All Import. Um, this is our first step, but why are we here? We, are, we actually want to install the add-on to this plugin. So we have to download the extension. I already did this. So just save the zip file on your hard drive. Go to your back end, click Add New. And this time, as this is not a plugin offered inside the WordPress.org environment, we're going to click Upload Plugin and choose the zip file. Once again, don't unzip it before you upload it to your server. It has to be a zip file. Otherwise, WordPress can install it. So click Install Now. And as the last step, we're going to click Activate Plugin. So let's start importing products from a CSV file. So we're going to All Import and we click New Import. So now you're inside um, the... Uh, environment from WordPress all import and we want to upload a file in that case because I have a CSV file on my hard drive that uh, includes a list of products I want to sell on my website. So I'm going to choose the CSV file, click open. So now the upload is complete and we start with the import pro process. So here you can see uh, import data from this file into in that case, new items, because we don't want to update existing products or posts or pages. We want to create new ones based on the CSV file we just uploaded. So we're going to go here again. We have create new that case, not posts, but we want it to be products, right? That's what it's all about. So we're going to choose products and click continue to step two. So as you can see in this uh, CSV file, I uploaded there are 10 rows and in each row there should be one product. And um, so the system already saw like what's the name, the price, the manufacturer, etc. So it already recognized a lot of things. Um, here you can just check it again and like um, go through each row and check if everything was uh, properly identified, otherwise it won't import the information the way you want it. So this is the first thing and also note this uh, set delim uh, delimiter for CSV files. So what um, character is used to distinguish each row. So usually it's um, 
the semicolon, sometimes it's another character. Um, just be sure to have the right one here so everything is properly imported. So if you check this, you can just go to continue to step three. So now we're in step three and we have to do a bit more now, uh, but it's not that complicated. First of all, it looks a bit uh, fuzzy and it looks like a lot of information you have to enter. Actually, it's pretty easy. So on the left side here, you have all the elements you always have inside the product section. So you can remember how uh, a single product looks like. You always have the title, content, images, and like the product information from affiliate theme, a custom fields, etc. So everything that you usually work with our theme. So um, this should look familiar to you. Um, now this is all about like where the system should import the information from the CSV file to. So um, for example, here we have the name as one column inside our CSV file. And this name should be um, the title of our page. So sometimes you have to uh, click a bit here, but then you can drag and drop it inside here. So um, now the title of the new product will be imported from the column name for each of the 10 products. So this is the automated process. For the content section, nothing yet because there is no tech, like longer text in the CSV file. But most certainly we have a lot on the product information here. So first of all, we have the price. So we're just going to um, take the price from up here. Uh, it's a bit laggy and we go inside here so that it imports the price from the file right into the um, field of price in our system. Um, and then we have manufacturer and department. And remember, those are the uh, taxonomies we defined uh, inside our WordPress system. So this is something that should go to taxonomies, categories and tax. So we're going to start with manufacturer, which corresponds to this column. So we're clicking manufacturer. And then each product has just one manufacturer. That is correct. And it should have the manufacturer that is inside the column manufacturer. So I'm just going to drag and drop it here. And we're going to do the same for departments as the CSV file consists of um, gaming mouses, we're going to take this one to departments. So next, let's move on to step four. So now um, we can still um, define a unique identifier. Um, so we actually have the as number from Amazon included here. So this would be a sensible unique identifier for each product. So I'm going to drag and drop the ASIN into the unique identifier here. So again, now we have this. So if you're certain about everything, you can click continue. Um, and now everything is um, set up and we can just confirm and run the import. So this is going to take some time, um, but in that case, there's not that much information. So you can see everything is already imported. So let's just check if everything worked out. So we're going to products and we can see that a list of new products was added and we can already see here. Let's just take an example, the first one here. So the title was properly added. We have a menu factor already inserted and a department inserted. And let's just click one of those gaming mouses. And we can also see that the price we defined and the pro process all earlier was also imported. So you can see now we imported 10 products um, in like five minutes instead of like manually entering all this data. So this is a very neat feature if you have an affiliate partner that does not offer an API interface.